Hi, I'm Honda Pro Jason. Welcome to my tips and tricks video for the 2014 Honda Civic EX. In this video, I'm going to show you guys some of the tips and tricks of this car, things that you won't find in any brochure or find in anyone else's YouTube channel. So come with me, let's have some fun. So many new features on the 2014 Civic, one of which is a smart key entry. With this smart key entry and this key in your pocket, you're able to unlock the doors, you're able to lock the doors, you're able to start the car and open the trunk without ever taking the key out of your pocket. Come around to the back, I have some more things to show you. To open up the trunk is simple. There's no need to fumble around with key fobs. All you have to do is press this small button the trunk autom automatically opens up. And remember, this key is a smart key, so it knows where it is. So if this key happens to be in the trunk for any reason in your jacket, when you shut the trunk, it'll automatically open up. Another new feature this year in the Civic is a lane watch camera located right here on the right mirror. I'm gonna show you guys how that works once we get inside. So let's get inside. Oh, sorry, I was just playing Angry Birds via the HDMI cord in the new Civic. There are so many cool things you can do with this. You can watch movies, you can basically, you can mirror anything off your phone onto the screen. So if you wanna watch Netflix, no problem. You wanna sit on Facebook, no problem. You wanna play Angry Birds, no problem. Let me show you how this whole thing works. Before I get into all the really cool stuff this whole screen does, let me tell you a couple of the changes they made in the 14 Civic. They went to a CVT transmission and away from the five speed. Better pickup, better gas mileage. They also went to the lane watch camera on the right hand side. You get your right hand turn signal, bam. You see everything on the right hand side. In fact, you can even see my office back there. It's right there. In addition to that, you also have your push button start. Put your foot on the brake, press this button, the car starts right up. They added an HDMI input, which I'm gonna show you what that does and a USB input inside here, plus another USB input in here. So if you guys are paying attention and keeping track, that's two USB inputs, one car. Now, let's get into the cool stuff that the screen can do. The first thing you need to do is grab one of these things called a smartphone. Second thing you need to do is turn on your Bluetooth. After you do that, you can set up your Bluetooth, which is pretty simple, and then set up something called the Honda Link. Now, if you go to hondalink.honda.com, it'll walk you through the registration. It's very simple. And with Honda Link, you can do things like AHA, which will give you streaming music. You can actually add navigation. There is a charge for the app, but the charge for the app is much less than buying a car with navigation. And with this app, you can actually mirror full navigation from your smartphone onto the screen. I'm going to show you that in just a minute, too. Now that the Bluetooth is all set up, let me show you some of the cool things it does. Check the screen out. Full phone capability, your call history, redial, phone book, speed dials, and if you do have Apple with Siri, What's the temperature outside? It's 25 degrees Fahrenheit outside. Did Siri just say blah, blah, blah. <laughs> You can ask Siri anything just like your phone. You can answer text messages. You can send out emails. You can do anything you want. And the button, check this out right over here, Matt. The button is right here on your steering wheel. So now there's really no reason to touch your phone. As far as audio, because that's what everybody wants to know, the audio capabilities on the new car. AM, FM, of course, CD. There is a CD slot if anyone's still gonna use it. You have a USB, you have an iPod hookup, Pandora, AHA, Bluetooth, and the HDMI. With Bluetooth, you can play whatever music you like to play. Here's some music coming right off my phone here. 
there's the rest of the music on my phone. And again, my phone's not plugged into anything. It's totally just using Bluetooth. Now, if you'd like to hook your phone up, you can use it through the USB cord or one of these new adapters that has the HDMI and the USB. So let's plug this in and let me show you some of the cool stuff this can do. Plug it in here, open this up, using one of my two USB ports right up front. Now you don't have to plug this in and you don't have to have an iPhone, but let me tell you, it's a lot more fun with the iPhone. Let me show you some of the cool stuff it does. Now that this is all plugged in and hooked up, you choose audio, you go right to your iPod, choosing your iPod, you have full control over everything and all of your music. Any song you want to play, you can change your source, you can shuffle, you can do a search for music, and everything is here. You set up a playlist, bam, there's your playlist. Also through here, you can use AHA, which is something you'd hook up through Honda Link. And with AHA, you have an unbelievable amount of choices. Different music, you have podcasts, you can choose from audiobooks. There's plenty to choose from, always something new. If you want, Facebook. What is it gonna do? It's gonna download everything that's coming across on your newsfeed. It'll read to you if I turn this up a little bit. My gate and asks for the owner of the red Sentra. And you can simply go through well. whoever else's newsfeed here. If you want to respond to somebody, you can simply press this button. Post to Facebook. Okay, what would you like to say? I'm currently filming my tips and tricks video for the 2014 Honda Civic. I updated your Facebook status. It says, I'm currently filming my tips and tricks video for the 2014 Honda Civic. Ready to post it? Yes. Okay, I posted it. It's just that easy, guys. What else you can do? Let's see what we got here for audio. Uh, we didn't go through HDMI. Let's hit HDMI real quick, because this is what a lot of people want to see. With the HDMI, everything that's on your phone will be mirrored to the screen. That's how I was playing that video game. That's how you can play HBO to go. That's how you can watch Facebook. Anything you can do on your phone, you can simply do here. And the quality is awesome. The quality is as good as it's gonna be on your phone, only it's on a much bigger screen. And again, this can only work while you're in park. Please don't ask if this works in any other drive or reverse, of course not. It's not how the system's set up. Let me show you what else the system can do. It's really cool. This car is a Civic EX. It does not have GPS navigation from the factory. But with this, an app you can buy from the iTunes App Store, it's only $59.95, and that's a one-time fee. With free upgrades, you can do things like this. Pressing navigation on your screen will automatically set up and load your navigation app. Now, I already put in there a restaurant, Wildberry Cafe, where we love to have breakfast every Saturday. In order for you to get there, it simply walks you through and shows you how to get there from anywhere you are, just like it would on a regular navigation screen. Now you have other options. You can look up today's weather, messages that Honda might send you, services about your car, locations, food, cafe, ATM, you guys can read them here. You can pretty much find anything you wanna find and there's no need to buy the navigation that comes with the car. 
Now that's not all the screen does. Let me show you some of the other features. So to make this so much more fun to use and so much cooler to look at, if you look, there's a little gear on the bottom. Here's a little trick. If you press that gear, you'll have something called themes and you'll be able to change the themes of what this looks like. So you're in the mood for palm trees, palm trees. I want it both day and night. Bam, there's palm trees. You want to look at something different. You want to take a look at a night sky. Bam, there's a night sky. There's a whole bunch of really cool ways to change this and customize it. In fact, one I just found the other day inside settings, inside system, there's home screen edit order. You can actually move these around just like you could on your phone to whatever area, whatever direction you want. A couple of tips about the screen, but let's dig into it a little bit deeper. Let's see what else we can find. Now that we've covered some of the things on this screen, let me show you what these two little arrows do. Behind there is a hidden screen. It's called your app launcher. This is gonna have your Link Connect app, your AHA, and your navigation. But in addition to that, Honda is gonna be coming out with more apps that are gonna be added to this. So if you wanna launch AHA, you can launch it very quickly from there. We've already looked at AHA, we can get out of this. But your full navigation app is hidden right here. And from here, you can pick your destinations, you can go anywhere you want to go and you can move the screen by pinching it, pulling it out, just like you could on a regular pad. I don't have any volume on, but it'll show you your destination, exactly how to get there. There's so much functionality and all of this is customizable. That concludes my tips and tricks video for the 2014 Honda Civic. Now it's simple guys, all you need is one of these and well, one of these. If you guys have any questions, you can always contact me at jason at hondaprojason.com. Leave a question in the comments below. Find me on Facebook. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys very soon. As always, I'm the Honda Pro and now you're in the know.